And also a funny story, 2018, my pro debut, some guy came up to me randomly and congratulated me. He said I looked good. I didn't know who the fuck he was. I guess he expected me to know who he was because I was bodybuilding, obviously, and everybody knows Flex Willer. It was, it was just a funny moment because he expected me to know who he was and I had no idea about bodybuilding. You know, I, when I started competing, you guys, I knew nothing about bodybuilding. I just did it because I was very influenced. I was convinced to do it. I did it. I just wasn't researching as much on the old school bodybuilding in the background. So after that one moment when he told me who he was, I looked him up and I was like, holy shit, that's my favorite bodybuilder now. <laughs> I looked up at all these videos, like, you know, YouTube posing routines and follow him on social media and study him really hard. So people ask me questions about him. You thought that I knew about Flex Wheeler years, years ago, but I just learned about Flex Wheeler in 2018. So that was a pretty cool story. Guy's place, huh? Yeah, that's awesome. Can't wait to check it out, see the inside. You guys walk around, we're gonna give you guys a, a tour of the brand new Muscle Inc. gym here in Bethlehem. And uh, you guys are gonna see there's a lot of things that uh, are very similar to Destination Dallas that I, I kind of might have picked from uh, MJ's playbook to uh, incorporate into the gym. The metal signs, the hardcore atmosphere, the flag. So I took a lot of pages out of the boss's book over here and uh, incorporate them into the Jersey gym, awesome. or to the PA gym. See, uh, see what you came up with. Yeah, it's gonna be good. So follow along, we're gonna show you guys the entire gym. We do have my IFBB Pro business partner, Robert Cardellemi, who's getting ready for his uh, first pro show, which is actually gonna be happening in Texas at the Texas Pro. So we'll be doing another video like this closer to uh, the event, probably at Destination Dallas. So yep. yeah. as soon as you walk in, you guys have the front desk right here. We put accents up with the wood paneling. These are metal emblems that were cut out to use for the uh, dumbbells that are gonna be here in about two weeks. So this was actually closed off when we first okay. took this over. So we blew, we blew this open to make this a leg room because this yeah. initially was just an aerobic room. Oh, yeah. So we were like, we don't need aerobics at yeah, fucking, exactly. you know, with what we do, so. I like when you make a room like this, it contains the energy yes. in a good way. Yep. So when people go all out here, it kind of feeds, uh, they're feeding each other. Yep, and nobody's bumping into each other. Yeah. It gives everybody space. You know, I know everybody's been with filming shit, so we wanted yeah. to make sure that, you know, nobody was yeah. getting in everybody's way, nobody yeah. was arguing. Oh. We, it's been great so yeah. far, so. Yeah. Nobody's um, standing in front of you here. No, we can't have that here, yeah. not at this gym. We almost call this the not in front of me yeah. headquarters. Yeah. This was something special to me. This was our uh, our leg room. Yeah. Our, our, I'm sorry, Don't this was room. this was a cardio cinema, uh -huh. okay? And then we took the cardio out, we changed the lighting in here, yeah. we put posing lighting in, and then we put a, uh, mirror here and then I know at destination you guys have yep. a back mirror yep. and what a lot of places just have mirrors yep. But not an angled mirror. Yep. So and we like we made it all black because everybody that likes to take the photos yep. um, They like black background and then obviously, you know that Sean mm -hmm. was my best yep. friend and he passed away So we wanted yep. to pay homage to him. Yeah, so and then this these jerseys up here This was a jersey that he sold on his website and then these two jerseys were actually the jerseys that he wore when he oh. worked out all the time. Oh. Yeah, the girl Maria that did that did an absolutely phenomenal job. I mean, if you get yeah. close to it, you could actually see like all the fine detail, like in his face, his eyelashes. Yeah. Like she did an amazing job on it. Yeah. Artwork. Yeah, Maria. yeah. The reason why we did this, Bobby will tell you, is what did I say? I go, destination, they have the couch hangout. They have a place yeah. where everybody can yeah, eat. Yeah. I said I wanted to do something yeah, like that. Back and forth between this area and that yeah. area. Yeah. yeah, I think that's a much more important place than uh, many people understand. Because it builds a community. And I think those who are too, uh, you know, running it like a business, and uh, they're thinking like, oh, I want as many members as possible to pay. I want as few as possible in the gym. Yeah. And when they come, they should go just in and out. Yep. And I think that's a terrible recipe. Community building is the, the whole thing. Yeah, so down here, Okay, this is obviously where you start getting into the, the grand scheme of yep. the new tech stuff. So we got this all custom made. So this these dumbbells are going to come in about two weeks. So he gave yep. us a, a, a taste of what they're going to look like. Yep. They, these don't have the seal coating on them, so they look like they get a little rusted, but it come, you wipe it off. Yep. But we're going to have 
10 all the way up to 200s, just like this. Okay. In these, That's with awesome. the logo on it and everything. You guys had a sectioned off. This is where the leg, like you walk into the destination, leg stuff's in the back, yeah. shoulder stuff's here. Yeah. So we were like, all right, how do we want to set this up? So Bobby came over one night, yeah. literally took a piece of paper, yeah. do, drew a blueprint of the gym. We're like, all right, yeah. we have 60 pieces. Where are they going? Yeah. And we literally, on my kitchen table, we said, all right, this one's going to go here. And so all the plate loaded stuff is yeah. down here. All the selectorized stuff is up there. So we yeah. kept the weights down yeah. here. So people yeah. aren't carrying weights back and forth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The middle section, you have your, your shoulder pieces. So you have your bent over lateral, you have your shoulder press, a seated lateral, another shoulder press. What pieces do you feel like are different and unique the, and uh, really purposeful? The, I would have to say the back and chest pieces are the most different than anything I've ever felt. And that's what makes New Tech so good. Like there's pieces that I love of, yeah. of all brands. Yeah. Then there's pieces that I just think suck. Yeah. When I tried New Tech for the first time about a year and a half ago, we were like, this is some of the best equipment we've they ever have used. They more uh, like an even... Uh... It's, there's no, everything's either great or really good. There's nothing that's not good. Yeah. Like if you want to do like a standard row, yeah. you can just do this, right? Yeah. Or something so simple like this piece right here. Yeah. Now it's a one arm row. Yeah. Because now you have support. It's yeah. something as simple as this that they add on yeah, yeah. to just make things that much easier. See, so D's for decline. Yeah. And then chest, and, and that's press. a flat press. Yeah. So we did all, so this is all the chest and shoulder stuff here. Yeah. Back stuff all in the middle. Yeah. We got my sponsor right there, Fuel Chef Frank, cooking up meals for everybody. That's awesome. This is paying homage to, I guess, you and Destination more yeah. than anything. Because this yeah. is, this it's is. It's like impressive. It's actually two pieces. It's, it's got to be 600 pounds oh, plus. Yeah, our, our piece is also uh, two pieces. Two, yeah. yeah. And we're probably within the next year, we'll probably add about 20 to 30 more pieces total. And then. That's going to be because I don't want to add too much to where it's, you can't move, right? Yeah, it's yeah. When it's when yeah. too tight. Am I going to ask Guy anything? <laughs> what time's dinner? <laughs> I was just going to say. <laughs>
more, more volume than him and I usually do today for sure, just because we want to play on everything. I definitely felt like I improved my back. Uh, the goal was to improve the, uh, the middle back and the traps, and that's exactly what we needed to do. Tyler wanted more, you know, thickness, more 3D, and that comes with time and, and, and maturity. But I felt like that me and Amanda really nailed my back this off season. Uh, we actually added him back on my um, hamstring day, so that, I think that helped a lot too as well. And lots of recovery and body work. So um, yeah. I think we did a pretty good job. How many signatures you got? I got probably about a dozen at this point. Cutler was the only one that signed in a different color, of course. Cutler. Oh, yeah, he signed in a different color. Yep. Everyone else got gold. <laughs> oh. I mean, we're like 23 weeks out from the Mr. Olympia. Start June 1st, my prep, so I'm not going to get no bigger between now and then because I'm about to come back down, but. I think we made really good progress and they should see a huge difference this year. So since my lats is pretty much where it needs to be, we just incorporated more rows. We didn't do anything different. The same stuff I did before. They told me my critique. I just did more of it. So we just add more sets versus two working sets. We did like three working sets. And like I said, I, I added another back day during the week. Just doing like one row after hamstrings and made a huge difference. So like I said, nothing different at all. Nothing different. Um, definitely squeeze the shit out of my back. Making sure I really drop the elbows and pinch the traps in the middle back each each rep and that helps too as well so nothing crazy just kept it the same just did more volume <clears throat> Let's do it out there under the uh, under the uh, flag. He's got to get the angle, guys. Talking about you. Oh, you got by yourself. Get the angle. Get the angle. Get the angle. Don't put blame on me. Shout out to Guy, man. Great job on this, man. Great turnout. Second time I've been here. Never failed to disappoint. When we were here for the Grand Open a couple months ago, blew it out of the water, man. Place was packed. So, uh, great job, man. And uh, until next time. <laughs>